Rawr, rawr. Hey, we're live. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Hey, <laughs> oh, I better not do that. It's messed something. Hey, good afternoon, evening. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I am Greg Master Scrum Master and as a coach. But it's about 4.40 p.m. here on Halloween Eve and... Just want to get the show in and get ready for Halloween. I had to help cut pumpkins with the kids, right? Here's it. Here's the boys. It's pretty good. I just put a, a uh, camping light in there because right now I don't want to deal with like flames going around here, burning everything up. So that's what I did. So it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. We are here to talk about Agile Scrum, any practical and tactical way. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, and Agile Coach. And we do this so we can bring value to the customer, get you home to family and friends at a decent hour, not working 60, 80 hours a week, and have some fun along the way. And that's why we do the show. Um, this is our 458th episode. A couple things is of, of we're going to talk about velocity metrics and velocity chart over time a little bit. And then um, I mentioned the other day about YouTube, right? And, uh, they're kind of doing a real flicker on the thing, and they put up a new screen. Well, they rolled it back it's like the next day. I guess I don't know if they're doing A/B testing on what, how YouTube should operate on the channels on the backside, or what. But they had one thing one day, and it was like all over the place. Next day, it's back to where it was. So I'm wondering if they rolled out something accidentally and decided they had to um, roll it back to what it was. So everybody does it. Every organization. So you're like, hey, why do we do a rollback? Well, YouTube just did one. Yeah, that or they are doing A-B switching and testing um, how things work. So maybe. Who knows? But I just want to let you know they did roll back. So we're not all – so we're not the only ones have to roll back code. So does YouTube. All right? All right. Velocity. So we used to always talk about velocity, right? So I got my little chart. Do, 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 do. Um, and velocity history. I love drawing the velocity history, give the teams an idea of what they're doing. So these are points up here. You can do a number of issues if you want. And this is the number of sprints. You know, so we always chart this out like this is sprint one, two, three, four, five. And I want to talk about some sprints where things just don't seem to work out right, right? So let's say the first sprint. The team, uh, when I say commits to here, or the product owner overcommits to here, or the team overcommits. And then maybe the next time they figure, oh, we just got back together. So we're going to commit to here. And then the next sprint, they commit down to here. And the next sprint, they're up here, up top. And they're down. And they're up again. All right, so that's what they're committing to, right? Now, maybe what they're doing and getting is something less, right? So maybe they're actually getting down here. My red one's not working. Oh, I wanted to use the red. Man, that's what you get for not practicing, right? I have another red one. A purple one. I have a blue one. You use purple. Eh. What this pink one? Does pink one work? Pink? A little better. Okay. And maybe they're down here. And then they get in here. And this is their done. All right. So this is done. These are done. Ooh. Is it done? All right. And then they got like this. All right. And draw a little thing. And draw a little pumpkin head. And a couple eyes. And there we go. We got a scary pumpkin. Look at that. Our velocity history looks like a scary pumpkin. Ooh, scary, isn't it? Happy Halloween. <laughs> hey, wait, that's why I was <laughs> Anyway, there is a thing to it where we overcommit and we... Uh, underproduce and we have that gap and everything in the in the and the it is an actual thing where you get this i call it the shark teeth or in this case the pumpkin teeth since it's halloween you know um where 
this goes up and down because we're 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 really mimicking the number of people we have on a team versus the work, right? So you get this, you get this, you get the blue. Ooh, choose the pink one. Choose the pink one. You get the blood on the teeth. Oh, blood. When when we lose people, lose people. Maybe you just ate somebody. Spooky, oh no. So we ate a person. So we get that when people are in or out every day. You know. And we get a spooky picture. In reality, this is a reality. And it's just as scary. Right? So we commit to these levels. Right? This is what we're committing to. And we, we got a gap. We're consistently less than we commit to. I actually had a team that would commit when they did their commitment on the first day of sprint. They were always at 80%. They always delivered 80%. Consistently at 80%. All right. All right. They're always at the 80%. Well, every once in a while. You know. Halloween. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, but one of the things you do, some point in time, you got to say, hey, we're, we're always down here at 80%. Let's just do the 80% mark so we can get it all done. So with that, I want to say boo and happy Halloween. Enjoy your day. Go out and have fun with the family and friends. I'm going to go have fun in front with family and friends and do some trick-or-treating. Remember, watch out for those shark's teeth. You'll draw a scary pumpkin like I just did. So have fun. See you all later. And take care. And happy Halloween. Go make some pumpkin. Bye, everyone.